Welcome to Stuff and Futurity Tube. What is vitamin A deficiency, VAD? Vitamin A deficiency, VAD, can result from conditions that interfere with normal digestion, leading to vitamin A malabsorption such as celiac disease, Crohn's disease, cirrhosis, alcoholism, and cystic fibrosis. Also, VAD is the most prevalent nutrient deficiency in young children and adults who eat a very limited diet due to poverty or self restriction. But this level of severity is usually even seen in less developed parts of the world. Tragically, up to 500,000 malnourished children in the developing world lose their sight each year due to lack of vitamin A. A large number of nutrients are not only required and crucial for the growth and development of organisms, but they also help in preventing many diseases and disorders. What are the symptoms of deficiency of vitamin A? Eventually, vitamin A deficiency may cause fatigue, susceptibility to infections. And of course, it will definitely result in various disorders and serious deficiency that most commonly involve xerophthalmia, severe dryness of the eye that if untreated can lead to blindness, nyctalopia or night blindness, the visual failure to adapt promptly from light to darkness and to see in the dark, irregular patches on the white of the eyes, inflamed, dry skin or hair, impaired growth, infertility, how does VAD diagnose? If you would like to find out if you might be vitamin A deficient you need to check the result of the VAT symptoms and then definitely report to your physician of a possible vitamin A deficiency. Does vitamin A have side effects? Too much vitamin A can be harmful and cause vitamin A toxicity. What is hypervitaminosis A? Vitamin A excess, or vitamin A toxicity, also called hypervitaminosis A, means have too much vitamin A stored in the body. How does hypervitaminosis A diagnose? Hypervitaminosis A can be diagnosed based on clinical findings through blood tests to check vitamin A levels. How can hypervitaminosis A, vitamin A toxicity, be caused? Unlike the water-soluble vitamins, for example, vitamin C, thiamine, riboflavin, vitamin A is fat-soluble, meaning a surplus amount not immediately needed by the body is not eliminated in the urine but rather is absorbed and stored in fat tissue or the liver, where it may eventually reach toxic levels. The tolerable upper intake of 3000 mcg of preformed vitamin A, is thought to be safe. Nearly three times the current recommended daily level of vitamin A. Hypervitaminosis A could be acute or chronic. Acute vitamin A toxicity can be caused by ingesting large amounts of vitamin A over a short period of time, typically within a few hours or days, usually accidentally by children. Chronic vitamin A toxicity occurs when large amounts of vitamin A build up in the body over a long period of time. This condition caused by long-term use of high-dose dietary supplements, possibly due to treatment for skin disorders, for example, certain acne treatments that contain high doses of vitamin A, or megavitamin therapy which involves very large doses of certain vitamins in an attempt to prevent or treat diseases. What are symptoms of hypervitaminosis A? Symptoms vary based on whether toxicity is acute or chronic. Symptoms of acute vitamin A toxicity include rash, abdominal pain, increased intracranial pressure, nausea and vomiting, drowsiness. Symptoms of chronic vitamin A toxicity include rash, dry and rough skin, itchy or peeling skin, skin cracks at the corners of the mouth, yellowed skin, jaundice, mouth ulcers, sensitivity to bright light like sunlight, cracked fingernails, sparse and coarse hair, hair loss, increased intracranial pressure, arthralgia, bone pain, swelling of the bones, increase the risk of bone loss, hip fracture, especially in the elderly. Vision changes such as blurry sight, poor appetite, dizziness, nausea and vomiting, respiratory infection, confusion. Another reason to avoid too much performed vitamin A is that it may interfere with the beneficial actions of vitamin D. Potential complications of excess vitamin A include liver damage, osteoporosis, excess calcium in the body, kidney damage due to excess calcium. Did you know? Unlike preformed vitamin A, beta carotene is not toxic even at high levels of intake.
but the blood plasma may contain a high enough concentration of the pigment to impart a yellowish color to the skin, crotonemia. The body can synthesize vitamin A from beta-carotene as needed, and there is no need to monitor intake levels as there is with preformed vitamin A. Vitamin A toxicity may be more common in the U.S. than the deficiency, due to high doses of preformed vitamin A, retinol, found in some supplements. Most people improve simply a full recovery of hypervitaminosis A within 1-4 weeks by stop intake of vitamin A but complications conditions such as kidney or liver damage which occurred from the excess vitamin A, could be treated independently. Eating an adequate amount of vitamin A will support eye health, but can't give you superpowers of night vision or cure your dependence on contact lenses. Vitamin A is a thermally stable and oxygen-free environment and can withstand the heat of 60, 100 to 120 degrees Celsius. But, at the air at higher temperatures, about 60 degrees Celsius, it decomposes rapidly, especially under acidic conditions. Sunlight also promotes vitamin A decomposition. There have been claims that vitamin A, in the form of retinol or retinol palmitate, added to some sunscreens, moisturizers, and lip balms can cause vitamin A toxicity or cancer if used excessively. However, there has not been evidence to date to support this. Vitamin A in topical creams is not absorbed into the bloodstream and therefore would not contribute to toxic levels. Vitamin A and vitamin A derivatives, such as the acne medication isotretinoin, can cause birth defects when taken in excess during pregnancy. Now, I am sharing with you a germ-busting soup recipe. This germ-busting soup recipe is packed with vitamin A, gets a beautiful golden color from the turmeric, and everything in it has an immune-building, nutrition-boosting benefit. Make a large batch that you can meal prep and enjoy throughout the week. Serve this soup with some whole grain bread. Ingredients that serve to are Half tablespoon extra virgin olive oil Half small onion, peeled and diced One cloves garlic, minced One fourth teaspoon ground turmeric Sprinkle of cayenne pepper or one fourth teaspoon crushed red pepper One eighth teaspoon ground black pepper 1 cup low sodium vegetable broth. 1 cup water. 1 fourth cup lentils or 1, 15 ounce, can cannellini beans, drained and reserved, divided. 1 medium stalk celery, chopped. 1 fourth cup diced pumpkin. Half cup peeled and diced carrot. 1 fourth cup diced zucchini. 3 ounces candor, 84 gram, diced tomatoes. 1 eighth teaspoon salt. 1 fourth teaspoon dried oregano. 1 sprig of fresh thyme 1 ounce button mushroom, quartered
add kale and thyme and cook 5 minutes, or until kale is wilted. Serve immediately.